Welcome! This yoga practice is meant to bring your body back into balance after you've been running or hiking. You can do it immediately after the activity or later in the day, whatever works best for you. So if you just finished your run, make sure to walk around a little bit before you begin the practice. And then position your feet about hip distance apart. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. And we'll do that again on the inhale. Sweep your arms out and up. Try to deepen your breathing. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. Two more times like that. Consistently deepening your inhalation and lengthening your exhalation. And when you, whenever you finish with your current repetition, place your hands on your hips. You can keep your shoes on for now. So keep your feet about hip distance apart. Take a deep breath and with the next exhalation, squat down, keeping your body fairly upright, just hinging forward at the hips slightly. And with the inhalation, go back up. And let's do that again on the exhale, squat down. And with the inhalation, go back up. And we'll add another element to it. So next time when you exhale, squat down. And then as you inhale, lift up, shifting the weight to your right leg and raising your left leg out to the side, straightening it. With the exhalation, bring your foot down and return back into the squat. And with the inhalation, shift the weight to your left foot and raise your right leg out to the side, straightening both legs. As you exhale, go back down into the squat, keeping the weight even on both feet. And on the in inhale, shift the weight to your right and raise your left leg out to the side, both legs straight. Exhale, back into the squat, even equal weight. And on the inhale, straighten both legs, raising your right leg out to the side. Again, with the exhalation, squat back to the center. On the inhale, straighten both legs and raise your arms up at the same time. Left leg lifts. Exhale, back to the center, into the squat, hands to your hips. With the inhalation, raise your right leg out to the side and raise your arms up. Again, exhale back into the squat, hands to the hips. With the inhalation, shift the weight to your right, raising your left leg out, arms up. Exhale back to the squat. Inhale, shift the weight to your left, raising your right leg out. Both legs are straight, arms up. Exhale back into the squat. Stay here this time, take a deep breath. With the exhalation, place your chest over your thighs, relax the neck, press your feet down, and with the inhalation, bring your arms out to the sides, lead with the chest, and go up into standing, reach up high. With the exhalation, bring your arms down, and then move your feet out wide, keep them about parallel to each other. Take a deep breath here, and with the next exhalation, bend forward, sliding your hands down along your legs. Relax your neck. Take a deep breath. And then next time when you exhale, slowly bend your right knee, straightening your left leg and pressing your left foot into the ground. On the inhale, return back to the center. And with the exhalation, deeply bend your left knee, pressing your right foot into the ground. Again, inhale back to the center. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Left leg is straight and active. Inhale back to the center. Make sure that both heels remain on the ground throughout the movement. Exhale, bend your left knee. And inhale back to the center. Exhale down to your right again. Left leg is active. Inhale, center. And exhale down to your left. And inhale, center. And now we'll stay in the pose. So as you exhale, bend your right knee. Bend forward to the inside of your thigh and make sure that you do not bend your knee more than 90 degrees. Relax your neck. Breathe here. Make sure that this position doesn't bother your right knee at all. If it does, just come out. Every time you exhale, focus on pressing your left foot firmly into the ground, keeping your left leg straight and long. Neck is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
With the next inhalation, return back to the center. And as you exhale, take it to the other side. Bend your left knee. Straighten your right leg. Bend forward to the inside of your left thigh. Once again, make sure that you do not bend your left knee too much. About 90 degrees or so. Breathe here. Make sure to keep your right leg active. Next time when you inhale, return back to the center. As you exhale, bend down. Press your feet firmly into the ground. Bring your arms out to the sides and go up into standing. With your feet wide apart, bend your elbows out to the sides, forming kind of like cactus shape. Take a deep breath here. And with the next exhalation, bend sideways to your right, looking down, directly sideways. On the inhale, return back to the center. And with the exhalation, bend sideways to your left, looking down. Inhale, go back up. Exhale, contract your abdomen, bend sideways to your right, look down to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend down to your left. Inhale, center. Do it one more time on each side, please. Come back to the center. Now we will need some sort of support. If you have a wall or a tree or playground equipment, whatever will work. We want the support to be at about your hip level. So go ahead and move toward the support. So we want to turn your right leg out and keep your right butt cheek against the support, whatever it is, against the wall. And then whenever you feel ready, shift the weight of the body to your right leg so you're standing on your right leg. Bend sideways to your right and raise your left leg up. We want to remain in one plane here. Place your right hand on your right leg anywhere you can reach and extend your left arm up toward the sky. So we want to stay in one plane. Your left leg will continue to rise sideways. And this is the most important action for us here. We want to keep lifting the leg up. Do your best to stack your hips on top of each other if possible. And look down comfortably so we don't strain the neck. So we'll stay here in this position with the hips stacked, shoulders stacked as well. Look down. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and try to lift your left leg up a little bit more, making sure that your left foot stays parallel to the floor. Very important. Continue to breathe like that. And whenever you had enough, bring your left foot down and come out of the pose. Walk around a little bit to loosen things up. And then reposition yourself. So this time it will be your left butt cheek that's against the wall or tree or whatever. Turn your left foot out. And whenever you feel ready, lean sideways, bringing the weight to your left foot. Raise your right leg up and then place your left hand on your left leg. Once again, do your best to stack your hips on top of each other and your shoulders on top of each other. Look down. Stay in one plane. And keep lifting your right leg up sideways with your right foot parallel to the ground. Continue to breathe deeply. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and lift your right leg up a little bit more, keeping your foot parallel to the ground. And whenever you had enough, bring your right foot down, come out of the pose. Walk around a little bit. And then stand next to your support, to the wall or the tree. So with the left side of your body, 
toward the wall. Well, you'll be standing on your left foot and then place your right foot behind it and place your right foot on the floor best you can. Pull your right foot toward the ground. With the next inhalation, raise your right arm up. And then as you exhale, bend sideways to your left, placing your fingertips on the wall. Now place your left hand on your left hip and use your hand to push your pelvis away from the wall a little bit, still moving directly sideways. We don't want your pelvis to rotate here. Look down to your left if it's comfortable, whatever works best for your neck. So here we want to create like a crescent shape here, a side stretch. So keep pushing your right foot toward the ground, your hips slightly away from the wall, and keep your fingertips touching the wall. Bring your attention to the right side of your body. And every time you inhale, try to lengthen through the right side a little bit. Make sure to contract your abdomen with the exhalation to maintain support for your lower back. And then whenever you feel ready, come out. Bring your right arm down and turn around. We'll switch sides. So this time you'll be standing on your right foot. Move your left leg behind your right leg and place your left foot on the ground best you can. Both legs stay straight. With the inhalation, raise your left arm up. And then as you exhale, bend sideways and place the fingertips of your left hand on the wall. Once here, place your right hand on your right hip and then push your hips away from the wall while keeping your fingertips on the wall. Again, creating this crescent shape, stretching through the left side of the body. So as you continue to breathe here, continue to move your left foot toward the ground, pressing it into the ground. Continue to move your hips away from the wall, staying in one plane without rotating your pelvis and keep your fingertips on the wall. Look down to your right so we don't stress the neck and continue to breathe like that, focusing on lengthening the left side of your body. With the next exhalation, come out. And for the next movement, you will need a yoga mat or you can do it on the grass if you like. Take your shoes off, transition down onto your hands and knees, and go into the child's pose. Place your hands on your lower back. Next time when you inhale, lift up on the knees, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. And as you exhale, move down, hands to your lower back, forehead to the ground. We'll do that a few more times. Full deep breathing on the inhale, go up, sweeping the arms and reach up high. With the exhalation, move down, hands to your lower back, relax the neck. Again, inhale, go up, lengthen. With the exhalation, contract your abdomen as you move down. Do that one more time on your own. Full deep breathing. And then whenever you finish with that, transition up onto your hands and knees and then lie down on your stomach. Position your feet so that they're wide apart. Your forearms are on the ground, forehead is down. Next time when you inhale, lift your upper body up, pulling slightly back with your hands. Don't push. And as you exhale, come down right ear to the ground. On the inhale again, lift up, keeping your lower body anchored with the exhalation, bring your left ear to the floor. Again, inhale, lift up, widen the chest, pull rather than push with your hands. Exhale, right ear to the floor. And inhale, back up. And exhale, left ear to the ground. Next time we'll stay in the pose. So on the inhale, lift your upper body up, please. Stay here and exhale, anchoring through your lower body. Now take a deep breath in, widening the chest, moving your chest forward and up. Don't push with your hands. Exhale here, anchoring through the lower body. 
two more breaths like that. Do your best to stay even, evenly anchored through your hips, right and left, and through your legs, right and left. With the next exhalation, come down, bring your feet together. Now next time when you inhale, lift your chest and your legs, moving your legs apart. Stay up here. On the exhale, bring your feet together. On the inhale, bring your legs apart. Lift the chest a little bit more. And exhale everything down, feet together. We'll do that again. On the inhale, lift up, legs apart. Try to keep them equally high as you exhale, feet together. Inhale, legs apart. And exhale, come down. One more time. On the inhale, lift your upper body and your legs, moving them apart. Exhale, feet together and squeeze. Inhale, legs apart. And with the exhalation, come down, bringing your feet together. Roll onto your back. Hug your knees to the chest and take a few nice deep breaths here. Now keep your knees bent, extend your arms along the body. Next time when you inhale, extend your right arm over your head, straightening your left leg up toward the ceiling, toes toward the nose. And as you exhale, bring your arm down and bend your knee. On the inhale, bring your left arm up and straighten your right foot leg up toward the ceiling, toes toward the nose. And exhale, bend the knee and lower the arm. We'll continue with that. Right leg goes up. Left leg extends, and exhale back to the center. On the inhale, left arm goes up, right leg, right heel pushes up toward the sky. And exhale back to the center. Do it one more time on each side. Stretching through your legs, stretching through the sides of your body, one at a time. Now, once you bend your knees, if it works for you, see if you can hold on to your big toes with two fingers of each hand, or you can hold on to your feet, ankles, or your knees, doesn't matter. And then next time when you exhale, straighten your legs up. So do your best to extend your legs here. Keep holding on to your toes, feet, ankles, calves, whatever seems appropriate. Every time you inhale, try to lengthen both through your legs and your spine. The back of the neck is long. And exhale, ease off the effort a little bit. And continue to breathe like that, creating a little bit more length through your legs and your spine as you inhale. And releasing slightly as you exhale. Now keep your legs where they are, bring your arms out to the sides into the T-shape and then from here slowly lower your left leg down. So your left leg is straight and on the floor, your right leg is straight and extended up. You can always bend your right knee a little bit if it feels necessary. Now for the next movement it's really important for us that your pelvis remains in this position that it is right now without tipping or tilting or rotating. So notice where it is, keep it there, take a deep breath. And with the next exhalation, slowly lower your right leg across the body without lifting the right side of your pelvis. On the inhale, return your right leg back to the center. And with the exhalation, again, slowly lean it across without changing the position of your pelvis. Inhale, raise it up again. And on the exhale, lean it across. Make sure not to rotate your leg. And inhale, raise it up. And one more time on the exhale, lower the leg. Don't lift your right hip. And inhale, bring it up. With the next exhalation, start to bring your right leg across the body, aiming for your left hand. It doesn't matter how close you will get to it. This time, allow your right hip to lift. Allow your pelvis to turn following your leg. Bring your right foot as close to the ground as it feels appropriate to you. And then, if you can, you can grab the toes of your right foot with your left hand, 
or you can put your left hand on your right ankle, knee, thigh, whatever works. Turn your head to your right and continue to breathe here. Every time you exhale, think of deepening your twist a little bit by turning your lower body further to your left. But your upper body remains in position. Continue to breathe like that. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and turn your lower body to your left a little bit more and inhale, ease off the effort a little. And keep breathing like that. Now for the next movement, it's really important for us that you lead with your leg, not your hip. So let go of your foot and then slowly start to raise your leg up while keeping your pelvis in the same position it is right now. So move your leg up, up, up. At about halfway up, pick up the pelvis and let it move along with the leg. Come out of the pose. Hug both knees to the chest. And then from here, still working with your right leg, turn it sideways, placing your right ankle in front of your left knee. Hold on to your left leg with both hands. And every, with the exhalation, pull your left thigh toward yourself while trying to move your right knee away from you. And we'll continue to breathe like that. Continue to turn your right knee out while pulling your left thigh toward yourself. You should feel the stretch on your right hip here. Make sure that your shoulders and your neck are relaxed. Continue to breathe deeply. Whenever you feel like you've had enough, free up your right leg, hug your knees to the chest. And then from here, extend your right leg down, put it down on the floor, bring your arms out to the sides. With the next inhalation, straighten your left leg up toward the sky. And with the next exhalation, lean it across the body without changing the position of your pelvis. On the inhale, raise your leg up. And with the exhalation again, lean it across, keeping it sideways, moving it sideways. On the inhale, raise it up. Again, exhale, lean it across without lifting your left hip. Inhale, bring it up. And one more time, exhale, lower it down across the body. Inhale, raise it up. This time with the exhalation, Lower your left leg down, aiming for your right hand. You can let your left hip lift now. Bring your left leg as close to the ground as feels appropriate. You can always bend the knees a little bit. And then you can place your right hand on your left foot, toes, ankle, knee, whatever. And turn your head to your left. Stay here. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and try to turn your lower body a little further to your right. While your upper body remains in position, your upper back stays on the floor. Continue to breathe like that. Full deep breathing. Now, before we lift the leg up from here, check the position of the pelvis. Notice where it is. Keep it here. With the next inhalation, start to raise your left leg up without changing the position of your pelvis. Up, 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 and at about halfway, 
Allow your pelvis to move following your leg. Come out of the pose. Hug both knees to the chest. And then turn your left leg outward, placing your left, left ankle in front of your right knee. Hold on to your right thigh. And now every time you exhale, pull your right thigh towards yourself while pushing your left knee out away from you. Flex your left ankle to make sure that we don't strain it. Continue to breathe here. Use your arms to regulate the stretch. It's up to you how close you bring your leg in. We're looking for the stretch deep in your left hip. Continue to breathe deeply. Whenever you had enough, free up your left leg, hug both knees to the chest, place your hands on your knees and then circle your knees away from each other a few times. Make sure that your knees are moving in the opposite directions. And then from here, keep your knees bent, place your feet on the ground, keep your knees deeply bent, and now from here, move your feet out as wide as you can, still keeping them on the floor. If you can, reach for your left ankle with your left hand and just keep it here with your left knee pointing up. With the next exhalation, see if you can turn your right knee in, rotate it in and pull it down away from your body. This is the internal rotation of the hip. You might, it might be easier if you try to pull your right foot up a little higher toward your shoulder. But at any point, if you feel anything funky, any kind of torquing in your knees, stop. Same applies to your sacrum. So in this position, we're trying to turn your right knee in, while at the same time pulling it down away from your hips. So experiment with that and see if it works for you. Don't force anything. Make sure you're not compromising your sacrum or your knee. And then slowly lift your right knee up. And then from here, reach for your right ankle with your right hand and hold on to it. Keep your right knee pointing up toward the sky. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So with the next exhalation, see if you can turn your left knee in, still keeping the inner edge of your foot on the ground. Turn it in, lean it down, and pull your left knee away from your hip. Same thing, it might be, it might make things easier if you pull your left foot up in the direction of your shoulder a little bit more, slightly. Check and make sure that there's nothing funky in your left knee, that you don't feel any pull in your sacrum. Then just work with this internal rotation here. Every time you exhale, make sure to contract your abdomen to maintain support.
when you had enough, slowly lift your left knee up. Hug both knees to the chest and circle them away from each other a few times. Nice big circles. And then place your feet on the ground, keeping them about hip distance apart. Keep your feet pretty close to your buttocks. We'll be doing the bridge pose here. Keep your arms along the body. With the next inhalation, slowly roll your hips up into bridge. Then stay here at the top and exhale. Press your feet firmly into the ground. On the inhale, lift the hips up a little higher, pulling your knees away from your shoulders. And with the exhalation, slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. And we'll do that again. Next time when you inhale, slowly roll your hips up. Stay here and exhale, pressing your feet down actively. On the inhale, lift your hips up a little bit more. The back of the neck is long. And with the exhalation, slowly roll down. Again, inhale, go up. Exhale here, press your feet down, make sure that your knees remain over your ankles, don't let them fall out to the sides. Inhale, lift the hips up a little bit more, and with the exhalation, slowly roll down. Whenever you finish with that, hug your knees to the chest. Keep your hands on your knees, move your legs back and forth toward the body as you exhale, slightly away from your body as you inhale. And then put your feet down. Extend your legs down into the comfortable resting position, whatever works best for you. Make sure that your upper back feels wide on the floor, that your shoulders feel relaxed and your head feels supported. Close your eyes. Once you get comfortable here, bring your attention to your breath. And now, little by little, only if it feels okay to you, start to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation. Bring your inhalation to about 8 seconds or so, and exhalation to about 8 as well. So as you rest here, focus on deepening your breath like that. And once you do, maintain the space for the next couple of minutes. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. Whenever you feel ready, bend your knees one at a time. Roll onto your side. Transition up into the comfortable seated position of your choice. Get settled. Close your eyes and tune into your breath. Notice how the breath flows in and out. Notice the sensations in your body, how you feel overall.
Stay aware of your inner state and shift your attention to your environment. Notice the sounds and the smells. Maybe sensing the light breeze on your skin. Stay here for the next few minutes. Staying aware of your sensations. Staying aware of the feedback from your senses. Becoming more and more comfortable in your environment. Staying aware of both of your internal and external environment. Gradually we want to get to the place where those two feel in harmony with each other. Stay here for as long as you like, paying attention to your sensations. And thank you for joining me today. Namaste.